What's good, YouTube? It's your boy D-Rip. Hey, today we got another special video. Today we're going to be reacting to wrestlers. No selling weapons. I'm assuming people are going to no sell chair shots. Or maybe like a ladder hit. Or I don't know. Somebody falling through the table and they get up instantly. I don't know. Kind of like Roman Reigns in WWE 2K23. Yeah. If you played WWE 2K23, you already know what I'm talking about. The dude gets up from everything. Brock Lesnar is the same way. It's a couple people in that game that's like that. But look, if y'all want me to play WWE 2K23, I'll continue to play it. But y'all gotta let me know in the comments and y'all gotta like this video because I literally was playing it, but I was like, they don't really like it. So I don't even, I don't even play it. I want to finish my uh, my rise, but I I stopped playing it because y'all don't even y'all don't even like those videos. So that's why I stopped doing it. I don't even put those videos out no more. But look, if y'all want me to do that again, continue doing that. Let me know in the comments and like the video. But look. I'm almost at 4K, man. I'm almost at 4K. I'm literally like, what, maybe 500 subscribers away from 4K. So continue to subscribe, man. But hey, man, enough talking. I've been talking for a minute. So without further ado, let's get into this video. In 1998, Goldberg was in the midst of his undefeated streak. On June 1st, the future WWE Hall of Famer's opponent was La Parca. The mass luchador came armed with a chair, but that was like bringing a knife to a gunfight. He's like, hit me with it. Go ahead. Oh! All right, we starting off strong. We starting off real strong. We starting off way too strong. A gunfight. He's like, hit me with it. Go ahead. Oh, he did. That probably didn't hurt. Hope. Oh my gosh, that probably didn't hurt Goldberg because the dude bangs his head on the door before he comes out for his entrance. We already know that. If you don't know that, I got a video of, you know. People with their pre-match rituals, and he's his is banging his head on the door before he goes out to the ring. Um, a parka. The chair is not metal, so I really don't know what that plastic chair was supposed to do. But it just sounded it just sounded really crazy. That was like Brian. That's a plastic chair. That is a plastic chair. It's not even metal. Gunfight. It's like hit me with it. Go ahead. Oh, so that's why I didn't hurt that bad. Oh my gosh! So look at that dude face. To a gunfight. It's like hit me with it. Go ahead. Look at this dude right here. Watch the black dude. Oh, he did. He's so old. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, who doesn't need a wake up call? Sting was 62 when he had his first match on AEW Dynamite. The icon teamed up with Darby Allen to take on the group called 2.0. I know, I know he's old, but I know he's, 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 he's that old. Sting turned out to be the toughest guy in the match. Sting. Oh. Powerbomb through the table by 2.0. <laughs> Sting's back up. Sting's back up. Bruh. I know he was old, but I did not know he was that old. I didn't know he was sick. But hold on, hold on, bro. We gotta see how old Sting is, cause, cause we're not finna just sit here. Bro. Sting, age. Sting is. Oh, that is definitely not him. That's not. That's not Sting. That's a singer. Uh, we gotta see his man age. Oh, he's sixty four. Okay. Sixty four. He's still wrestling. I know Ric Flair is in his 70s and he, he had his last match like a couple months ago. These dudes are brave, man. A year later, Sting found himself brawling in the corner. <laughs> his opponent I see now. hand and smacked the Stinger with a chair, but it had the complete opposite effect. Ooh! Right before Hold on. Does Sting have pass on or something? Because there ain't no way he just took that chair shot like out. that. His opponent got the upper hand and smacked the Stinger with a his flat does not look like it's like padding or nothing on it. I mean, maybe he still has some kind of pattern on it, but it don't look like it. You can see his whole back. You can see all the curves in his on his back, like a natural back. So either he didn't hit him hard, <laughs> or he or Sting is just real tough. Cause ain't no way chair, but it had the that is not an average sixty four year old. Complete opposite effect. Just absolutely. Right before he joined WWE, Leo Rush had one of his final matches as an independent wrestler against Joey Janela. The Ooh. two were fighting on a ladder when Janela grabbed Ooh. Leo and gave him a nasty looking powerbomb through a table, only for Rush to get back up and act like his neck hadn't just been smashed onto the mat. Big Daddy V was one of the oh biggest men to ever compete in WWE. He could also take a beating as seen during his Extreme Rules match against Tommy Dreamer. During the fight, Dreamer drove a trash can into Big Daddy's head, not once, but twice, and it literally 
simply had no effect. Roman Reigns learned the hard way that Braun Strowman took the steel chair vaccine a long time ago. However, Drew Gulak did not know that, and the result was pretty humorous. Oh my gosh! Really? That's a big man. <laughs> that is a big individual. Because he didn't even punch. He didn't jump or nothing. I mean, obviously it's scripted. But you can't script that chair shot. That's still a chair shot. Like, it's still metal. It's pretty humorous. Unless it's like aluminum. But, I mean, steel. Yeah. Didn't even move. Really? Easy, bro. The story of Kane in WWE was that he was burned in a fire as a kid and survived. With that in mind, the headbangers should have known a boombox would have no effect on him. The headbangers! Oh! Ming, or Haku, is legit one of the toughest guys in wrestling history. He got here it shouldn't be surprising then that when Dusty Rhodes swung a chair at him, this is what happened. Now you're either going to think this next one is awesome or ridiculous. At TNA Impact Wrestling's biggest event of the year, Bound for Glory, Brian Cage took on Sammy Callahan. The two had a very physical match with a lot of weapons being used. Oh my god. Towards the end though, arguably the most dangerous weapon of them all was brought out. Thumbtacks. Thumbtacks. Sammy then piled drive Cage onto the tacks, went for the cover, and Brian Cage kicked out instantly. Now despite that, there are some wrestling weapons. Weapons that are most dangerous. Ooh. Hold on, bro. We're not just going to skip this, bro. Look how big this dude this is. Next one is awesome or ridiculous. At TNA in this dude is huge. Now you're either going to think this next one is awesome or ridiculous. At TNA Impact Wrestling's biggest event of the year, Bound for Glory, Brian Cage took on Sammy Callahan. The two had a very physical match with a lot of weapons being oh, used. Towards the end though, Dude. arguably the most dangerous weapon of them all was brought out. Thumb See my thing with the tags, like I like, I like, I think it's very brave of these people to use tags because if they told me, if I was a WWE superstar, they brought out the tags. I'm going to say Vince or Triple H, Hunter, Stephanie, whoever. I need a little bit more extra money for this tonight because um, this is a high risk. Very, very high risk. I'm having thumbtacks in my back, possibly my stomach. My, 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 my tush is getting thumbtacks. Like, I'm going to need some extra money tonight. I ain't doing this for, for a normal check. Like, I need some extra. I need an extra cut. I don't care about the other dude, but me. I need extra. Nah, me and another dude got to get an extra cut. Real talk. Because Sammy then it's piled dangerous. the cage onto the tax, went for the cut. Because, like I said, me and the other dude got to get an extra check. Because he got some down here now. Because he jumped down onto the tax with me. Over and Brian K. And then the referees, this one not, but most referees, they count in the thumbtacks. So the referee deserve a little bit of bread too. Oh my gosh, bro. I know that one of the elbow. Mm-mm. It's kicked out instantly. Now, despite that, it's a big there man. Are That's a big dude. But look, man, if you got any other videos you want me to react to in particular, let me know down below in the comments because your boy does read the comments. So let me know in the comments which y'all I'm going to react to next. But, uh... <laughs> I just think I like thumbtacks, but like I said, it's dangerous, man. Y'all gotta give me extra bread. Extra bread. Extra bread. Hey, man, like this video. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy D River, man. I'm out.